what do we want, what do we have, and what's the connection. Right over here, you can always see it at the top left of every single page, all right? Top left of every single page. So let's go and get into it here, my party people. First things first, we're going to read the question. It says right over here, how much should you expect to pay to ship the item? Everybody, what are we talking about? Like, give me one word that would explain what we're looking for. Give me one word. One word. There we go. Cost, pay, amount, money, all of those acceptable. We're going to keep it simple like cavemen. Keep it simple, then make it complicated. But don't overcomplicate it in the beginning. We're just looking for a dollar amount. A dollar amount or money associated with a payment. Basically, how much we're paying to ship the item. That's it. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. So if we're kind of thinking about this in our heads, I would say it's kind of going like this. It's gonna cost us blank dollars to ship the item. That's it, blank dollars to ship. Now what we're gonna do is, well, we're gonna kind of answer some of these unknowns. Like, okay, what are the costs? What are the rules? You know, what, what are we paying? How much is it for this or that? Like, what, what are we looking at? Let's take it nice and slow. So I'm gonna read through here in the beginning. It's gonna say, hey, you'd like to ship an item that weighs one pound, three ounces. The post office charges $5 for the first four ounces and $3.50 per ounce thereafter. Let's go and split this information up here, my party people. Let's go and split this up. So here, it says we're trying to ship the item that weighs one pound, three, uh, three ounces. So weighs one pound, and three ounces and then it says over here hey uh post office it charges five dollars for the first four ounces so let's write that down over here the first four ounces that's going to end up being again five bucks no matter what the first four ounces five bucks then after that after four ounces We're doing $3.50 per ounce. Now, let's, let's ask ourselves something very, very, very important, but also very sincere. I've got to ask you guys this. When we say right over here, the $3.50 per ounce thereafter, does that mean that we're going to take the entirety here of the one pound, three ounces? We're going to take, find all the ounces, all of it and then multiply it by 350, or should we be doing something else? Okay, I see a lot of no's there blowing up in the chat box, so it looks like I'm clearly saying something wrong, right? What is it that we should be doing? How do we interpret that? $3.50 per ounce thereafter. What does that mean? How many ounces would that apply to? Ah, I see some people, are, some people are giving me the direct answer and some people are leading me to the answer. And I'm going to go with the people that are leading me to the answer. Here's what this is going to mean, my party people. The $3.50 per ounce thereafter means after the first four ounces. Because again, the first four ounces, you're already getting charged for it, five bucks. So it's after those four ounces, you're gonna take whatever's left and multiply it by $3.50. Does that make sense before I continue? The first four ounces, already covered. You're already paying five bucks. It's after that that you're paying $3.50 per ounce. So when you're talking about the first four, again, five bucks. The fifth ounce, that's gonna be one ounce times $3.50 because it's one ounce after four. If it's six ounces, you take the extra two ounces and you would do multiply by $3.50. If it's seven times three and you get it, hopefully you get it by now. But let's go ahead and work it out in real time here so I can show you what's going on. So with that said, everybody, um, 
this isn't exactly listed in just ounces, so we have to kind of figure out what this is. So let's take care of this for a moment. And let's go ahead and do this right over here. One pound, three ounces. Everybody, how many ounces are in one pound? Dave, appreciate you. Yeah, one pound is 16 ounces. Sounds great. So we'll go ahead and say, hey, this is going to be actually 16 ounces. We already have the three ounces here. So everybody, we have a total of how many ounces? Yep, this is going to be a total of 19 ounces. And so what did we say, everybody? We said, hey, the first four ounces, that's going to be five bucks. And then if we take away those four ounces, how many ounces are we applying the $3.50 towards? 15, exactly. Because if you start with 19, take away four ounces, you got the remaining 15 ounces. So we'll write that right over here. So far so good, everybody. Yes or no in the chat box before I get to the calculating. Are we good? All right, sweet. So let's zoom on in over here and let's get this finalized. Let's finalize it nice and easy. So remember, the word per is a very big key there. That's typically defined as your rate or slope or rate of change, whatever way you want to say it. But long story short, if it's saying 350 per ounce, you're going to multiply the 350 by the number of ounces to get the total amount of money. So with that, we'll go ahead and take again per ounce and you have 15 ounces. We'll take this right over here and do 350 times 15. And I'm going to show you a common mistake that a lot of people make. Some people might get excited about this and say, man, we're finally to the calculation. Let's go ahead and take care of it. Zero times five is zero. Five times five is 25. Three times five is 15. Carry the two is 17. Then you bring down your zero for the next line. And then you say, hey, then we're going to go ahead and do zero times one, five times one, three times one. And then we're going to add all that together. Zero, five, 12, and that's five. And we're feeling pretty good about that. And let's say you even remember the decimal rules for multiplying one, two, one, two. So you end up getting $52 and 50 cents. And some people might look at that and say, yeah, we got that. My final answer is going to be C. What did I do wrong, everybody? What did I do wrong? Yeah, Dominic, I forgot the five. I forgot the five bucks originally that counted for the first four ounces. Has anybody ever been there where the moment that you're done calculating anything in a problem, if you see that number in the answer choices, you're going to be like, well, what's up then? That's the answer. <laughs> yeah, multiple times I was just there. Yeah, a lot of times. See, okay, cool. So I want to make sure that I'm going through those mistakes with you because remember that it's not about the numbers. It's about what the numbers mean. You're asking about the total price. And the total price was the cost for the first four ounces and the cost of the rest of the weight. You have to combine those at the end, meaning that C is not your answer. It's actually going to be, again, after four ounces, that's 52.50. Then the first four ounces, it's going to be five bucks. So with that, you add that together with the five bucks. And you've got yourself right over here, your final answer of $57.50. That's going to be your final answer right over here. That's going to be B. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.